also you want to learn how to create this glowing grunge effect inside of After Effects that has this kind of opium style to it. Well I'm about to break it down step by step quick and easy inside of this tutorial. This effect is actually pretty simple and doesn't take longer than a couple minutes to do. So just follow along and let's get right into it. Real quick before getting to it, I just want to let you guys know that I'm Lurking Visuals and I run my own editing store where we sell editing presets and assets for video editors just like this one. This effect is actually from my Opium preset pack which you can find linked in the description but let's get right into it. So I'm in After Effects right now and I got this bunny music video that I'll be editing on today and it's just a basic clip so what I'll do to this one is right click, go to new and create a new adjustment layer and I'll cut it to the length of my clip. And the first effect that I'll be adding onto this adjustment layer is a grain. So I'll type out add grain and drag it onto the adjustment layer. And I'll tweak the settings. I'll actually turn up the intensity to 1.6. And that's actually a lot. So let's turn down the size to 0.1. And then let's change our viewing mode to final output. So now we got this going on. And it might seem a little bit too much right now. But it will look much better when we add all of the effects on. Next up I'll add a colorama effect. And right now it looks like this which is way too much so i'll go up here to output cycle and i'll change the preset palette to alpha ramp like this and now we got this bright desaturated look which we will be working with so next up i'll add a glow you can tell i got a lot of glow plugins so you could use whatever you like to but just for the sake of this tutorial i'll be going with the stock one just so all of you guys can follow along and i'll drag down the threshold to like 40 percent something like this and I'll drag up the radius to somewhere around 250. It might be a little bit too much depending on your clip so just mess with the threshold but I recommend that you keep the radius at 250 and I'll keep it like this for now. I might go back and change it later on but now I'll add on a threshold effect and once again I'll just go with the stock one and you can tell right now we got this opium look going on and I'll actually drag down the threshold a little bit to 118 right here and keyframe that one as well as the glow and let's go all the way to the end of the clip and I'll drag both of them up that way the effect will get darker as the scene plays through now I'll add on a noise effect which is pretty similar to the grain effect that we added on in the beginning but we want to keep this one pretty low so let's do like 17 and we have this one on top of the threshold which will give a different look so let's keep it like that and the final effect that i'll be adding on is a posterize time just to drag down the frame rate so let's drag it onto the adjustment layer and i'll put the frame rate to half of what i got right now so if your clip is shot in 30 fps then put it to 15 and since mine is 24 fps i'll change it to 12. it's not really a rule but that's what i like to do you can mess around, put it to like 8 if you want to, just get something you're happy with. Now the effect looks like this. Which is pretty cool, I'm happy with that. And now that I've given you all the sauce on that effect, I'll be showing you guys one more thing. You can tell that I got this clip right here, which has no effects on it. So what I'll do this time is open up my animation presets and go to the open presets default version and I'll drag on this clean distort one and just like that we got this clean dark and grungy look once again with this kind of VHS look going on down here and this is actually my preset pack which you can find linked in the description and just like all of my presets you can mess with the effects they are fully customizable you can tell right now it's just a little bit less blurry if it works better for your footage you could keep it like this I mean just mess with everything I'll show you guys one last effect and this is and this one is from the open presets add-on version i have two different ones one is the default version which requires no paid plugins and the add-on version which requires a couple paid plugins but all of that information is in the description oh yeah if i drag on this opium stutter one i'll just show you guys what it looks like and it's just a cool effect nothing too much and i mean this and i mean this pack just helps me out a lot when i'm editing my music videos it's such a time saver and if you use code opium5 you can get five dollars off because you know i'm always hooking up the youtube fan with some discounts but that's pretty much it for today thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to leave a like and subscribe and help me reach 10k on instagram so follow my instagram down below and i'll see you guys in the next one